A train derailment leads to evacuations in Edgerton. An Orland man faces charges and connections with the murder of a Waterloo businessman. And a meth lab explodes in Kosciuszko County, injuring a homeowner. I'm Maggie Johnson. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. The Spring Fling event is on now at Preferred Auto in Auburn. Buy today and take your choice of a free netbook computer or Nintendo Wii. And you still get our famous 100,000 mile warranty. And free car watches for life. The Spring Fling event at Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. A man from Orland now faces felony charges after he confessed to being an accomplice to a murder. 50-year-old Matthew Nelson pled guilty yesterday to charges of assisting a criminal as a part of a plea agreement reached into DeKalb Superior Court. In May of 2009, Nelson allegedly assisted two other men in the murder of Raymond Edward Morrow at a business location in Walker Row Airport just east of Waterloo. As a part of that plea agreement, Nelson must cooperate with prosecutors and testify against his alleged accomplices. In exchange for this testimony, murder and robbery charges against him will be dismissed. Nelson's cooperation could also mean a lesser sentence on the assisting charge. A meth lab explosion on Sunday critically burned a Kosciuszko man. Police and firefighters responded to a house fire at the 1900 block of County Road 400 East. As firefighters worked to put out the fire, sheriff's investigators found a methamphetamine lab had been set up inside the home. The fire erupted when the homeowner arrived at the home, opened a door, and was burned by the exploding fumes. The man is identified as 31-year-old Charles Rensler. Rensler's girlfriend, 31-year-old Rynell Hill, and her children were both home at the time, but neither she nor the children were injured. Hill has been charged with a preliminary count of disorderly conduct and was being held in lieu of $300 bail at the Kosciuszko County Jail. Hill's children were taken into custody by workers with the Indiana Department of Child Services. A train derailment yesterday in Edgerton led to the evacuation of a number of homes. About 37 cars jumped the tracks yesterday morning. Several of the cars were leaking denatured alcohol, which is extremely flammable, so residents were evacuated as a precautionary measure. Once the all clear was given by Fire Department Hazmat crews from Williams County, the residents were allowed to return to their homes. And that's the news for now. Find more news at ilovefroggy.com. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a great day. Where do you go for the best selection and lowest price? Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Preferred Auto has the cars. Over 500 vehicles available. Preferred Auto has the credit. Good credit. Bad credit. No credit. The Spring Fling event is on now. Buy today and take your choice of a free netbook computer or Nintendo Wii. And you still get our famous 100,000 mile warranty. And free car washes for life. Hurry, our free netbook or free Nintendo Wii offer won't last long. The Spring Fling event at Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Next to Hollywood Video.